Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a cloudy sheep. We are playing Rule of the Waves as the US. Tensions are increasing somewhat again, so uh, we are trying to build up uh, and prepare for war. Um, I don't think it's required yet to pull out our um, reserve fleet or mothball fleet. Um, budget is still somewhat tighter than I would like, um, but currently we are also rebuilding more our um, light fleet. Um, you can see that we all did start on the Raleigh and the Richmond um, up there and soon I think we'll um, probably be building some more of these ships. So let's take the turn, seeing that that is increased, that's very nice to see. Diesel generators, um, I'm not sure we really want that but I think we should increase our research budget somewhat because people are seeming to pull their hand um, for us and I don't really like to see that. Excellent, um, yeah, all of these refurbishing is being done. Mining submarine, um, no, I don't think we want to buy or sell any technology at this moment because we don't really know what's going on here, so, yeah, we simply have to see. Um, yeah, let's take a turn. Private shipbuilding is really increasing the dock size now, so, um, yeah, that's, that's good to see. Um, all of these destroyers are finishing, it's fine. Uh, France is laying down more battleships. Um, let's take the Paulings and send them to the reserve. Uh, the Panning Clauses I think we want to keep. We might even want to build a couple of Pannings. So, um, these guys turned out to be a little bit better than expected. Um, their design speed was um, I think only 33 um, knots uh, and they were a bit faster than that. So. Yeah, I think that would be very lovely. Um, can we delete the... Um, well, not from this thing up here. So, um, we would want the updated version, obviously. Monthly build cost, um, at least let's build two. I think that would be fine. Yeah, and still quite a bit of refurbishment going on, so that's also very nice. Oregon um, being recommissioned, that's good to see. Um, as is the San Francisco. So I think we will take the um, Pueblo here, take it to the active fleet and rebuild this ship, or redesign it rather. Um, and you do have direct fire, um, but not on the secondary guns. Um, and you do have quite a lot of them, so let's make sure that that is fine. Can you carry mines? You cannot. Um, anyway, still fine. Yes, please do rebuild it. Yes, spend about not even a million. So I think that's fine. Uh, Tanat on foreign station is not sufficient. But I'm not whether really sure. Should we send the San Diego on foreign stations? I think we can do that. It's just 30,000 or so, so let's do that. Yeah, that does fulfill the requirement. Good and very lovely to see. Uh, so we now have five battleships, three of them on active stations, two in reserve fleet, very very nice, uh, especially the Nevada and the Oklahoma do carry the same main armament, um, Oklahoma is a bit better armored, California is still a bit of a weird early design. Damn it. That's, that's a blow. That's, that's, that's not nice. We were hoping that these guys could attain 27 um, knots as well, but this time luck wasn't on our side. Um, do we have to rebuild you? Yes, we do, because you need a director on your secondary battery as well. So that is fine. Save that. Yes. Thank you. Yes, please rebuild it. Spend 3 million on that. Still a good investment. Right, um, can we do, well I think a couple of more fannings would be not, uh, no, not designed, let's build a ship, fannings, the updated version, mm, I think four more of these would be very lovely, it doesn't take that long and it would be good to um, have some more design like that. Um, I think we'd also like a couple of more Raleigh uh, classes up here. So let's build the Raleigh class. 
and it give me anything with an all? Nope. So let's briefly let me briefly look up what cities in the US <laughs> are there with an all. So let's go to Wikipedia and let's see the first one that is really there is <laughs> Damn it, there aren't that many with an all. Riverside. Let's pick Riverside, California. Riverside. Thank you. And let's put another one. And that is going to be. Well, um, really not that many cities. Oh, we know, of course. Thank you. That's good. We get four of these ships. All of this other stuff is being built. Uh, quite a couple of destroyers. I think that puts us way into um, line with everyone else. We have more battleships or equal number. Um, our battle cruisers are somewhat on par, um, at least with Italy, Germany, slightly lagging behind um, Great Britain. Well, that's going ha has to be fine. Mm, battleships are immaterial as of now, like cruisers. Yeah. That now puts us um, again in line with Great Britain. Lovely to see. Destroyers. Yeah, I think we even have a bit more, but some of them are really outdated. Mm. Minesweepers. We'll have to see about that. Excellent, excellent. Um, right then. So, let me briefly pull back up my clock so that I don't take way too much time. Rebellion has broken out in Ireland. That's very uh, appropriate, given the time scale. So it's 1917. Germany building more. Japan having commissioned their second battle cruiser, in fact. So they're now surpassing us in uh, battle cruiser Tonnage, which is a bit of a pity, but um, should be fine. Yeah, we are rebuilding the. I do hope, I'm, I'm not sure how that works, but I think the constitution will probably have uh, problems reaching the design speed as well. Yeah, but that's just how it will have to be. Uh, we are spending quite a bit of r on, on research, so that's okay. All of that seems to be fine. Yep, let's take a turn. Rebellion in Ireland. Let's, let's see whether we can do that. Something about that. So. It would be very lovely if we could get a base in Northern Europe for reasons that I've mentioned a couple of times in that we can block off the enemy. And even in the last war I think two of our battleships uh, were boxed in um, because they took damage. Maybe because they were stupid, but they took damage in Northern Europe um, and they couldn't withdraw to any friendly harbor, so that didn't work. I'm also slightly worried about that everyone seems to be going up at the same rate, which isn't ideal. Political murder, murder in the Balkans, um, guilty. Um, prestige would decrease. No, I think we're going to be a bit jingleistic. Profitable turrets, interesting. I don't think we'll be using those because they are goddamn expensive. Tensions are increasing up here. We are now sitting at a positive balance, and very soon this um, constitution will have finished. Let's see how that turns out. Rebellion Ireland. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Um, of course, we need to take the constitution, yeah, which also has the lowest speed, so pity, but let's rebuild that. Um, and yeah, we're now netting 4 million a month, which is, of course, lovely to see. Um, so let's see where well, we might be lagging behind. Battleships are fine, I would say. Bad cruisers still way behind Great Britain. Light cruisers then, okay. But I think more might be useful. Destroyers seems fine. Especially seeing that we are building six more. I think we can resume the construction of these submarines. So yes, please do that. We are still making money, but it's nice to build up a bit, um, a bit of a buffer. Good to see. 
Japan finishing battleships. Dominican Republic. Um, yeah. Um, sure. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Superimposed guns on on destroyers. Okay. Okay, I guess. Um, let's make sure our research is aligned. I don't feel like we're making the um, advances that we need to make, especially in hull construction. Ah, no, wait a minute. Hull construction, I think we could put to medium. What we really want is armor development. I want an um, all or nothing armored scheme. I suspect that that is under um, ship design, actually, which is high, which is good. Um, but it doesn't necessarily need to be in there. In something warfare technology guns. Let's let's put this too high because I would like um, currently our um, naval guns all have a decent quality except for the 13-inch guns. Mm, and I would like to see some some better guns. Maybe maybe we can get that at some point. Oh dear! Look at the tensions. Um, I didn't even see that. Mm, so Russia, Russia then. Russia would be an okay enemy. Gradual damage control, that's nice to see. Better pre-battle enemy strength assessment, okay, that's good to see. Right then, um, we are very close to war with, war with Russia, so um, I'm actually going to pull back my uh, California class ships to active station, let them get uh, their quality up, because that is very dangerous. Um, the Illinois we're going to pull back to reserve. Um, I think the Des Moines classes could be put to active fleet. Yes, please. Um, and it's good to see that we do have the money for that. Um, let's pull all of these guys in fact one, just one um, notch up. So I think the holdings up here could be put to active. Yes, thank you. Uh, the minesweepers, I don't care about that much. Although, right now we don't have that many, right? It's only um, about nine chips. So can we, in fact, design a new minesweeper? Or can you actually open the design for our current existing ones? Let's open that design. Let's say you get a central rangefinder. Let's say you get a point gun. Let's say you get slightly more weight. 500 tons is needed for four inch guns. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think that's that's worthwhile. Let's stick to 200. Um. Let's use three caliber guns. Um, of course, let's use the central rangefinder position, so that is the only update that this would entail. And other than that, can you carry mines? You cannot. We have some weight remaining. Not enough for more guns, though. So I think that would be fine. It would also be a minimal change. Um, so. In fact, in fact, what we might want to do then is let's rebuild these to include the central range firing position, and that'd be it. Yes. Thank you. Good. Can you be rebuilt? Um, okay. Did I not save that? Could happen. Um, Rangefinder, yes. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Let's do that. It doesn't cost anything, pretty much. So let's rebuild all of these ships. There we go. Thank you. Yes. And let's, in fact, build more of these. About 11. Thanks. Just so we get the patrol um, requirements up and running. Good, good, good. Um, 
Lots of raw days being built. I'd like to see that. Um, yeah, and Constitution is coming back online very soon. Ireland has declared independence in 1918. Interesting to see. My laying submarines being finished. Reconstruction improved director. And that, of course, ooh, improved two inch guns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two inch guns then. Um, as we are over here, can we. I think for the for these guys it really 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 doesn't matter. Um, for our yeah, old reserve fleet, um, where are our proper destroyers? Oh yeah, the Fennecs down here. Um, you only have four inch guns. That's fine, I think. Um, but we definitely want to redesign our battle cruisers and battleships. Then um, let's start with the latest ones and use improved director. And that I think is very fine. Uh, so we are looking at a rebuild cost of 3.6 million. What if we gave you a couple of um, two-inch guns with the higher quality now that we have it? 3.8. I think that's fine. Mm, actually, can we? What if we used dual dual turrets over here? I think that would balloon that out of control but in single months. Yeah, okay, so um, actually yeah, let's use yeah, so that call these costs haven't changed. Um looks good to me then. Caliber here could be increased but that would be very expensive. So no, not gonna do that. Stole a couple of guns. Just four guns, but you know, it might it might be a lucky shot on the destroyer one time only. So, you have the improved fire control? Excellent. Let's do it. Yes, please, rebuild that. Where's the other one? There we go. Rebuild you as well. Thank you. Next one is the Nevada. A very similar ship, actually. Improved fire control. Two kilometer here, so just two guns. Is that really worthwhile? Well? Let's let's not do that. Um, yep, the the improved fire control still is very useful. Thank you. Yes. There we go. Uh, then the California classes still deserve that upgrade as well. Um, no, you don't have really that much. So yep. Thank you. Yes, please. You too. Yes, please. Thank you. Um, battle cruisers. Whoop. No, no, no. Battle cruisers. Um, the Lexington class. Get an improved director. That is really a, a crucial, essential update. So, definitely going to do that. Uh, nope. Can't do that many either way. For me. We don't. But it's still. Definitely a worthwhile upgrade. Lexington, yes. Lexington and the Constitution as well. Although I'm still still a bit salty about the lacking speed of that. So yeah. Ah, damn it. Okay, that should work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what design might I want to take? Okay. How about um, our battleship? Would we want to do anything here? Group director for 2.8 million. A single position. More ammo. It's probably not worth it. Yeah, what the heck? It's two million. Let's let's do it. And this is probably the last war that it's gonna fight in if it is actually gonna have any any engagement at all. Right. So all of that seems to be fine. Foreign station, fair, fair, fair. 
active fleet, active fleet, reserve fleet for the destroyers, for most of our destroyers. I think you can take out the steward class, put it into the active fleet. Although you are considered obsolete and thereby a bit more expensive than you maybe should be, but I still think that, you know, could be, could be worthwhile. There's no point in redesigning you. No, I don't think so. Let's see what we got then. Uh, lots of refurbishments. Some new buildings. Monthly balance are bad. We have five mine laying submarines. Maybe five more? I think we have to um, actually at this point get this to medium, these submarine tag. Just so we can get these. I think once we finish building these, we might build the uh, mine laying submarines. Ah, screw it. Let's, let's do it. Um, also, I think I would like to build in our new acquisition in Port Arthur, build a coastal fort. Do we have any? Can you see that? Nope, we don't have any, so let's build a fort. I think a 7-inch battery would have the highest quality in terms of guns. Yeah. Let's build that. 7 inch battery in Portafu, is it? No, it's on the peninsula, okay. Yeah, one 7 inch battery. Maintenance cost will be negligible. Um, how about something bigger as well? I think that should be should be okay. Although Japan, I mean, it is a home zone of, of a hostile power. What have we got in Algeria then? A seven inch battery only? Hmm, do we wanna do we wanna to one could probably lower that and increase this? Make sure that we are going to war against Russia soon um, and not ending up in a multiple way war. What's what's our gun tech like? There's no compelling reason to go for any of that, so I think I'm going to hold off on that right now. Just the 7 inch gun should be fine. So here we go, just a couple of years, I think just about 6 years after the last war with Russia, we are apparently looking for for, um, for a repeat of that. Um, in about 4 months all of our ships will be um, back and ready, all of our capital ships with much better improved firing control. Very much looking forward to that, um, very much looking forward to taking the fight to the Russians again, if we were to attack them. Um, maybe attack them down here in the Far East as well, I don't think they have a lot of um, capability up here, nope, just two light cruisers. Um, you can see that Russia pretty much has some forces in the Caribbean. Yeah, just a couple of minesweepers and light cruisers. Um, quite a bit in, the, in its home zone. And presumably some submarines sort of everywhere. Something here as well? Just to destroy it. Probably just on its way down here. Mm. Yeah, but I think if we end up scattering some raiders and, and some, some of that stuff, uh, we should be doing pretty fine. So on these terms, thank you guys for watching and let's see whether we get into a new war next time. See you then. Bye bye.